in Eastern countries, people use the flowers and the crown versus fabrics on the on the grapes. Also, will I mention that when James Allah Rahman Rahim, Rabbi Salaat Sudhir Vasili, Amari Vasli, took the medicine, Yakbu Khali. Now, um, I'm going to answer this question, but but let us understand when when we ask them to the people like in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and I'm sure there's like many, many countries, uh, does that, but mostly we found this type of uh, bid'ah in the countries like in India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, when somebody died, they make the strong with the like a cement uh, grave and to make it strong, and uh, they put, um, <coughs> Uh, like a green fabrics or any fabrics the verses of the Quran and even there's a cool written on that like and so they they have a fabrics like that that they sell in uh, mostly in India and then they put the flowers on that they put the water on that but I'm going to ask you one simple question so you will understand is this right or the wrong Let's take a look at an example of uh, Jannat al-Baqi. How many Sahabas do we have? Thousands of Sahabas, right? Wallahu alam. How many Sahabas are being buried there? We don't even know in what grave what Sahaba is there. We, we don't even know that. Do we see this type of um, the custom in them? We do not see a fabric there. We do not see any uh, flowering. We do not see a uh, watering there. We do not see anything. So who is most important to us? In the Prophet Sallallahu then the most important to us are the one are the Sahabas if you look at the, the Jannat al-Baqi the Jannat al-Baqi is completely flat it's 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 not even allowed uh, to put the name it's not even allowed to put the fabric and it's not even allowed to water that it's not even allowed to put the flowers there so why why would do do something which is which is something not being done during the sahaba which is not being done by the any uh the early century tabains and taba tabain none of them has done that so why would we they do we and i'm going to ask a question to my own self why would we do that something of putting a flower okay let, let's say we put a fabric of a quran what's it how does that be helping uh, uh to the person in a grave how, how is that helping is he going to be reciting the quran by while sitting in the grave it doesn't make any any sense and why would be watering them just to make sure if they, if they die in a summer they're going to be feeling like a uh, very hot inside so you put the water on there it's, come on come on why, why are you making something come up with something uh, like a uh, new ideas and then they put the flowers why are you putting flowers there doesn't make them a uh, flower smell makes them good so why don't you put the rose and the lily flowers and uh, <laughs> And some other flowers on there to smell them so who started that and why you do that because it, it just like it becomes so much common because the local imam does that wherever they're living at and that's how the generations are became doing the same thing nobody is understanding that the most important people to us are the sahabas even if their grave in a in a genital bucket are into the quantity of like thousands we don't even know that but if their graves are being so pure their earth is so pure that the sand of so pure and it, it's there's no fabric there's no names there's no flower there's no water nothing so who are so why should we are uh, doing that so we need to stop doing that who are ever doing that so let's go back to the way and adopt the lifestyle of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa